<laughs> okay. Well, it wasn't recording, but fuck it. What's going on, everyone? It's Gustavo, and today... I'm back. I'm back on here because I've been going through it the past couple of days. And what I mean by that is, well, I've been home alone, okay? And suddenly, I just forgot how to act. I re-downloaded Grindr, got severely drunk on the first night, and had the worst hangover the next day. I couldn't move. I was shaking. Have you ever had a hangover so severe and violent that you were shaking? But <laughs> we're here now, and basically I had someone over last night from Grindr, and I just feel so fucking drained today. I feel so depleted, and it's nothing to do with the guy. It's everything to do with me. Everything, everything to do with me. Because first of all, why would I redownload Grinder? I said I wasn't going to get back on there. I said I like, and I was doing so well. I was retaining my semen. I went like 20 days. What the fuck is wrong with me? What the fuck is wrong with me? That's been my thought process the past couple of days. <laughs> and if you notice, I don't have sheets on my bed right now. This is just my comforter. And because, you know, have you ever had gay sex? <sighs> like, I just regret it. It's still a void inside of me that is never fulfilled from casual sex. And I really have to get that in my head. I hate sex. I hate having sex. <laughs> my anaconda don't want none in general. But somehow, sometimes I get this switch flicked in my brain. And I, th I think a lot of men can relate to this. I don't know about the girls. I know, you know, if y'all do, y'all don't tell me about it. But <laughs> the boys just have this, pri we have a switch, and it's like a primal, primal instinct once that switch is flipped to fuck anything in our sight. And sometimes our hands will not do, and if you're gay, you're lucky enough to have these stupid fucking apps at your disposal. I don't think it should be normal for a society to have sex on demand like that and so commodified. Like that is so dangerous on so many levels. But besides that, besides that, personally, spiritually, it doesn't fulfill me, okay? <laughs> I really have to ask myself, like, why do I go on Grindr if it's not fulfilling to me? And the short answer is because I'm I'm fucking lonely, okay? I've never been in a serious relationship in my life. I've never had anything of substance in my life, in my life. And you know, there's people out there that are dying. There's people out there that are virgins and they're my age, like shout out to y'all. But <laughs> I've never had a relationship in my life. And I used to be of this mentality like, oh, I don't deserve it. But I, I think I do. I think like everyone does. We are all worthy of unconditional love and intimate relationship, serious relationships. OK, we are all worthy of that. And I want especially my gay boys out there listening to really, really get that in their heads. I need to get that in my head as well because, <laughs> because Lord, Lord knows that the one is not waiting on Grinder for me. It's just not going to happen. Everyone is on there for one thing and one thing only. Your boo is not on Grinder. You know, there's been some, there's been the odd ones that do find their perfect match on Grinder and have a sustainable relationship. Shout out to them. I'm not saying that it's everyone on there sucks, but everyone on there sucks. I have my vices that I lean on in times where I cannot deal with myself, okay? Grinder, using drugs, drinking, that's just some of the vices that I cling on to whenever I don't want to be myself. It, it just doesn't, it doesn't pay off in the long run, okay? It doesn't, I don't see a return on that investment, okay? Drinking gets me hangovers. Smoking weed, I don't dream at night, and I love to dream. Grinder, I regret it every time I hook up with someone. Every single time I regret it, because 
it's all it all has to do with something inside of me that I'm not comfortable dealing with. So I distract myself from it. And that's all I have to say today. Now, thank you. Thank you. I'm Gustavo. (laughs) Have a nice day. (laughs) Oh, okay. No, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done.